The Hash It Out Show is brought to you by Barreto Home Solutions. Bayou Audio and Video. Hot Works on the North Shore. JFK Martial Arts in Mandeville and Covington. Blackhawk Hauling. Lil Dizzy's Cafe. Wags Food and Culture. Moe's Pizza. The Green Law Firm. Personal Injury Attorney. Drums Earwear. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. If you winning and you don't give a fuck about a hater, tell them move. Move, 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 Cause I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. 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 Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hash It Out Show. I am your host, JB, the sports guy. I'm joined by my two co-hosts that you catch on CrescentCitySports.com. First of all, the one and only, George Peppers. What's up, GP? Uh, judging by my bracket, it's I'm going pretty good. Uh, judging by somebody else, I'm pretty sure he's in a little depression. But I see two viciously disgraceful hats that y'all are sporting tonight. You know, I mean, goodness, the Yankees and the Tar Heels. Man, Duke fans rejoice. Y'all going to survive. I'm just playing around. It's all in fun. But no, it's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow, great day in sports. It's opening day in Major League Baseball. And we got the tournament resumption. The Sweet 16 kicks back tomorrow. Going to be a heck of a day. But tonight, we got a great, great show for you guys tonight. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Also joined by VK Jones. What's happening, VK? What's going on, man? Like, tag, share, and subscribe to the Hash It Out Show on all social media platforms and log on to the Hash It Out Show.com. It's good to be here tonight. You know, NCAA's kicking off men and women. It's been it's been really good despite the bracket. I don't really care Ooh. now. This is the fun part. It's just it's just it's just gonna get better and better, man. So I, I yeah, you I, I'm, I'm good. I don't care, man. Like I'm not depressed, man. I, I, this is life, baby. That's just what it is. I'm not worried about it, and, and especially somebody who whose team not even not even smell need to smell the about, oh, all whoa, these That's a pot shot. And then on top, and then on top, and then on top of that, uh, uh the person talking about a disrespectful head, uh, uh, the other team from New York who ain't uh smelt the championship since '86, uh, the quest for '86, right? Let's take this a year, shot. Right? Let's take a shot, Darren. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, the cur the yeah, courteous man. response is, and I'm gonna keep it PG because we ain't gonna do all that other foolishness. But uh, uh Hope Springs Eternal. That's all I'm gonna say about baseball. Now look, the Mets ain't winning no World Series this year. I wish they would have been in on the two big pitchers that signed this week, Blake Snell and Jordan Montgomery. But that's neither here nor there. Um. Look, I, I and up until a few weeks ago, I was on the Yankees to get out of the American League, but with Garrett Cole and that shoulder, whatever that injury is, I don't know what they what, what did they say was some kind of lat injury or something. I don't even know. Uh, I can't take that team. I, I know that's, that's not gonna happen. Uh, you know, but look, baseball season starts tomorrow in the major league level. Collegiate baseball is well in the throes of things. You know, the tournament resumes tomorrow, and the women resume Friday. Correct. I think yeah. they do go Friday. So, but uh, 
And no, we're not talking CBI or CIT. Don't don't ask us to talk about that, please. So strictly NCAs. We're not talking about them old substandard tournaments. But it's been like VK said, it's been a fun tournament so to this point. Some theatrical finishes, some really, really step up performances. And uh it's it's gonna be fun stuff for tomorrow and Friday. Yeah, it's it's good to be here, man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we, we got a lot to, we got a lot of things tonight. Uh we actually got a little, I believe, confirmation on a uh, special surprise later on. You know what, what I'm saying? So oh whoa, special surprise. Well, surprise guest. Oh, okay. I thought it was an incident or uh, 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 an event. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the surprise gift coming up later on. Yeah, he got with us with bated breath, Jared. He's got us with bated breath. Surprise guest, man. I, yes, sir. I don't know nothing about this, man. Was, Neither me. I was told about this. Wow. If it's Long Beach really? State's fire coach, really? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, could it be him? It's not. We'll, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. So that we will. Apparently, we got a surprise guest tonight. I, I, it's to, it's for tonight, VK, or is it future? Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's tonight. It's tonight. Oh, it, it, it's a. Just see, VK didn't even send me a text saying. We got I a see that. Guest. I've been, I've been ready checking the chat. And he said we got a surprise guest. Man, he he must be making making his own moves around here. Like, see that, huh? Trying to take over the show or something, man. Like, uh, I don't know about all. I don't no, know. No, about no, all I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no mutiny. We all we want to do. Is is do what's best for business and then make the show better than than we are. I hate Stephanie McMahon. I got that plans to do something at nine o'clock, and I you you coming with us? We got a surprise guest. So I could be like, not tonight, but we gonna go ahead. We gonna go ahead and do this surprise guest tonight. We gonna go ahead and do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are gonna do this surprise guest. But um, everybody, while we've been conversating about the tournament and all that, gotta tell y'all. This guy just read my mind. I was about to tell y'all that Trayshawn Ware will be joining us in a little bit. He had a track meet today, but he might be joining us sooner than me saying this because he kind of popped up on the screen. I just don't see him, but give him give him a minute or two. All right. Let him get squared away. Yeah, let him get squared away. Give him a minute or two. We're going to bring Mr. Trayshawn Ware up in here. And we got a special guest also joining us tonight. <laughs> Don't know who it is, but let's see if he's on there. Let's see. Let's see if he's here. Mr. Trey Sean, where are you there, sir? Hello? Trey, Trey Sean, are you there? You can hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, there he is, guys. So let's do the proper introduction, okay? Joining us, this guy had a breakout season last year for the Brother Martin Crusaders. Also made the all-district team, which was the Catholic League. And um, he's looking to lead Brother Martin to bigger and better things come next season. We have the one, the only, Trayshawn Ware. Trayshawn, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. I'm doing great, Coach. You know, want to see how you doing. Joined up. Oh, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing good, my man. I'm doing good. We just happy that you're able to join us. You had a track meet tonight. How how did everything go at the track meet? Went all right. Could have done better. Okay, okay. Honestly, honestly. So next track meet, gonna gonna go harder, do better. That's good. Let's let's get this started like this. Why did you, Trayshawn, want to play football? Wanted to play football because, you know, it was like I live in an all-girls house. You know, I'm the only man in my house. So playing football was really just like, you know, it was just like a step into manhood. Okay. Was there a football player that you saw or that you watched that inspired you? That you said, I want to be like him or... I want to be better than him. Sean Taylor. That was a guy I looked up to growing up. Okay. 
And I loved how he played. He plays fast. He played hard. He was there in coverage. You know, I love that guy. Would you say your type of um, play is basically after Sean Taylor, similar to Sean Taylor? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Um, so you started playing football at a young age. What playground did you play for growing up? I played with Garetti. You know, the home home away star set. Garetti playground. A lot of great players came from Garetti. Now you're playing at Brother Martin. How has it been playing for Brother Martin High School and also playing for Coach Bonice? Playing with Brother Martin has been like a new experience for me. You know, it really like just gave me that, uh, introduced me to the idea of being like a star player, you know, being a guy everybody looks up to. You know, playing with Coach Bonice, uh, you know, Coach Bonice was like one of the first people to talk to me when I first came to Brother Martin. You know, he welcomed me with open arms. And, you know, he's just one of the best people for me to be around because he's supportive, he's kind, and like he's really like what a true leader should be. Yes, I've, I've known Coach Bonice for many years, and he probably doesn't remember me until I got to tell him who I am, but it's all good. But Coach Bonice <laughs> coached my brother for a year at Archbishop Shaw. This is back in 2005. So um, always been a good guy. During the season last year, the injury bug hit a couple people. You were asked to also play running back. Tell us about that. Well, you know, it wasn't a new experience for me. Growing up, playing running back was the first thing I started off with. You know, running back just kind of comes natural to me. So when I got to play running back for my high High school team, you know, had to step up and really show why I'm as versatile as I am. You know, I was eager to do it. Yo, you guys had a great season last year. Got to the quarterfinals, I believe, against Alexandria or the second round. One of the two, I'm not able to remember. But off of the season you guys had last year, how can you build going into next season, making next year better? I definitely want to say that going into next season, I think people should look out for is our explosiveness. You know, as a team, we've really came together and we've been working hard, been putting in the work where it needs to be. And like as a team, we have, you know, we've been fixing our weaknesses. Like that, I like that. Who have Who? been your biggest supporters? Uh, my mom and my aunt Toya. You know they've been day ones. They've always been with me every step of the way, and I wouldn't be here without them. Most definitely, most definitely. Next season, you are going to be a senior leader. How will you show the team? your leadership skills. The next season, it really starts with me. You know, I have to be the first guy in the locker room, first guy out, first guy in the film room, first guy out. My grades need to always be right. You know, I really need to lead by example before anybody leads to me, listens to me. And so going into next season, I really want to establish myself as that because I feel like I already fit the description and now it's just time for me to step up and take over this team. Okay. The Catholic League is one of the best leagues pretty much every year, especially in football. If you play in cornerback, you went up against a lot of good receivers. Who was the toughest wide receiver that you went up against last season? Toughest. I have to give it to Josh from St. Oak. Okay. Joshua Jackson. Yes, sir. What is it? What is it about Joshua Jackson that made him so tough to um to cover? You know, 
a lot of people like to say that he wasn't fast, but going against him, he's quick. He gets in out his breaks. He's strong hands, and he's a big body. You know, you put it all together. All right. Um, my last question for you, Trey Sean, before I give it to Mr. VK Jones. Like you said, you played at Garetti. If you ever have to go back to Garetti or any other playgrounds, what advice would you give to the younger kids? I tell them, never let your size discourage you from doing something. Because, you know, as a, as a smaller guy, everyone is ready to overlook it, overlook you. And, you know, you can't let somebody alter how you feel about yourself. Can't let your confidence be taken away. And, you know, you just got to be ready. BK. Treshawn, man, how you doing? Appreciate you uh, taking the time out to join us and everything. And, um, you know, big shout out to the Brother Martin Faithful, the Crusader Nation, who is joining us watching the show, and also your family who is joining us watching the show and everything else. And, um, you know, got to ask you this at first, Treshawn. Um, you know, you definitely winning not just in, you know, on a field, but you're winning so far in life. But what are your goals in your life going forward? What do you? Tr what What is your ultimate goals? What are you trying to accomplish later on in life? You no, know, I definitely want to play college D one ball. You know, with with the big dogs. Whereas I then I want to graduate with a degree, maybe two of them, and then I want to go to the NFL and just ball out. Absolutely. Coach Bo Nice uh, is, you know, I, I, I've been on him a long time myself and everything. It's And it's funny that, you know what I'm saying, we, we both had Catalyst ties in itself and everything else. And it, it seemed like, you know, seemed like really Coach Bo Nice prepares everyone for uh, everything, not just on the field, but off the field. But do you think, like, with what he's went through kind of inspires you as a player, but not just that inspires the team because I know he's been through a lot health wise and not just that with his family that he tries to balance things out to try to really coach y'all up and try to help y'all be successful on and off the field. You no, know, Coach Bernice, like like I said earlier, he's a he's a great role model. Like he balanced like being a family man and being a coach at the same time, which is some a skill that not many people can master. And really, like, following coaches Bonice's footsteps, you know, you're going to grow up to be a great man. And, you know, your, your head's going to be in the right place. Absolutely. Looking at uh, last season, so far in your career, what do you think is your biggest moment in your, in your career so far? You know, your biggest moment or your biggest victory of your career so far? Ooh. Um... I guess I have to mention my switch to cornerback. You know, it really like really helped me show and elevate really just how good of a player I am, the plays I can make, and the potential that I have. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, um, you know. The camaraderie with your team and everything else, you know, I, I know it means a lot to you, uh, Lamar and Crusade and everything else. And it seems like, you know, they really prepare you more off the, especially in more of the media. And it's amazing of what they do to really prepare a lot of students, especially being in the forefront, you know, especially dealing with certain media, certain little things and stuff like that, you know. Tell us a little bit about how the public relations just really kind of really helps y'all out as students to prepare you down the line for any kind of public events or anything else, you know, especially, you know, something that you'll, fate, you'll deal with, especially when you go to college. You know, the families and like supporters at Brother Martin, you know, they, they always support their people. 
you know, every event, game, anything. They're always going to be there. They're going to be there to support you and just help you along the way. And really, it's just kind of, it helps you for the next level because eventually you're going to have the same type of people who's going to be ready to support you and, you know, just have your back no matter what. Not too long ago, uh, uh, Brother Martin got to the state championship game in the Superdome first time in over 30 something years. And hopefully, I know you got a experience team when we're possibly returning next year and everything else. Do you think the goal is to try to get Brother Martin back in the dome and hopefully finish the job this time? Uh, the thing is, though, when Brother Martin was in the dome, I was actually on the team playing against him, John Curtis. <laughs> I was starting that for that season at Strong Safety. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> wow. But uh, but I but Trey, I know you're doing your thing and everything, and um, you know, and I and I know you're going to continue to be successful on and off the field and everything else uh, and all that stuff and i know you know being a crusader is a is, is, is a lot for you and i know you make your family very very proud right yes sir george peppers here uh trace on i want to echo the sentiments of my co-host and thanking you for taking the time to join us on the show tonight we appreciate it and we thank you uh first question i'm not gonna pivot like that but my first question you know last season you know two years ago you mentioned you were on Curtis's team then brother Martin uh you know how good they were two years ago and then last year they got humbled against Alexandria a team an up and coming team what was the message by coach Moniz after that game after that game it, it was a game at home against a team that y'all figured to beat but really you guys just did not play near par what was the message after that game last year in advance of this season? You know, Coach Bonis, he has high hopes for his teams every year, no matter what. And no matter what loss, what, what happens, he's going to be there to have our back. He really just let us know that we need to lock in and the only people who can beat us is ourselves. Because that, that week, we were, like, out of it because, you know, we had a first-round bye. We were like, oh, yeah, we're going to walk through this. And we let our egos get in the way of actual, actually preparing for the game. Hmm. Okay. Um, and you talk about, you know, your goals, personal goals this year is to get yourself recruited at the Division One level and everything else. Playing in a league like the Catholic League where there's a lot of really good football teams, you know, Holy Cross emerged last year. St. Augustine was tough. Rummel overcame a bunch of injuries to make a major run in the playoffs. Jesuit, you know, they were always gritty. Um, Curtis, Carr, the level of play in the Catholic League, do you feel like that helps you out going forward as far as your, not so much your profile, but your ability to go against top-tier talent? Actually, yes, sir. Uh, you know, like the Catholic League has LSU. You can miss here and ev everywhere, pretty much, you know, like star players on each and every team. You know, Catholic leagues, they're not running just regular plays. They're running concepts. They're running defense. And really, all this stuff translates to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, let's look ahead to this season. Uh, Brother Martin, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but, you know, it's going to be another tough run in the Catholic League. And, you know, obviously the expectation is to get back to New Orleans. Uh, give us some key components as to what it's going to take for you guys to pull together a run that you can find your way back to Poitras and play for the title. What, is, what are some key things that are going to have to happen for the Crusaders to have a shot to get to the Superdome? Everyone has to handle their responsibilities. You know, a team where everyone is doing their job, being where they're on time, you know, that's a successful team. And really, we need to com come together as a team and really, like, create a bond because that's how that happens. Mm -hmm. You know, you become friends with someone, they're going to play for you for life. Now, you talk about, you know, this upcoming season and your recruiting uh, upcoming this year as well, too. Obviously, that's going to get put to the back burner as you focus on the football season, but what 
besides stating the obvious about you know looking for a good educational place or, or a team, whatever, what kind of a style co college are you looking for for the kind of game that you play for your your style of play? What kind of a team? I don't I don't want to say name teams, but what kind of a style component that you're looking for for a collegiate team that's going to recruit you and and uh, who you who you may eventually sign with? I guess really just a team that trusts its players, you know, mm. a team where it's like, mm. I, you know, the coaches feel like my guy is better than your guy and we're going to play this and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. And, you know, we're going to win games. Okay. All right. Um, all right, you guys can hear me because this thing's just kicking me out yeah, and kicking me back. Are we good? All right. Yeah, Here's one my last question uh, to you. Um, I found it interesting that you compared your style of play to Sean Taylor. I love that comparison because I feel like that young man was on his way to some superlative things. I wanted to go a little further back, though, to find the way your game patterned. And um, Ronnie Lott. It was a great Hall of Famer with the San Francisco 49ers. Is another guy I kind of feel like you're getting, you know, with the physicality and everything else that he employed and, you know, with what you do. Uh, do you feel like that's another accurate comparison? Uh, yes, sir. Ronnie Light, he was, he was a headhunter. When he saw the guy yes, with sir. the ball, he was ready to go get him. And, you know, I feel the same mm -hmm. way. You know, see ball, get ball. I love that. Well, Treshawn, I want to see you get a lot, a lot of balls. I mean, you got a lot last year, but I want to, I want to see a lot more. I'm expecting big things from you this season, my guy. So continue to hard work, continue to practice hard, and when it gets tough in your mind, make sure you get tougher than that. We want to thank you for joining us. We truly appreciate it, man, and best of luck in the upcoming season, Treshawn. Thank you, Coach. That is Treshawn Ware. And uh, Treshawn Ware, the Brother Martin Crusaders, first of all, let us thank Brother Martin, Coach Bonice, Miss Whalen, everybody from Brother Martin who gave us permission to interview Treshawn. We truly, truly thank y'all for giving us the opportunity, and we look forward to working with you all in the future. Because there's a couple of players that we would like to talk to. But, guys, Treshawn Ware, you heard he started strong safety for John Curtis his sophomore year. Now he's at Brother Martin. <laughs> and really came to light. And when I say about that is his name exploded onto the scene at Brother Martin playing cornerback. You heard about the week one interception against Washita. That was a pick six. And then he gets interception against... St. Paul's, I believe, the following week or the week after in week three. He had a great, great season. And as I said, he was all Catholic League, all district. And now he's going into his senior season, has a, has an offer on the table, is being looked at by other universities as well. VK, your thoughts about Mr. Treshawn Ware? Treshawn, um, very interesting here. I mean, very good athlete in itself. Um, very good speed. Uh, he's uh, look like he's a ball hawk, pretty much. Especially how he how he played last season. I think he really really emerged. You know, you know, come it's something else when you're a transfer, and you know, a state champion transfer. But at the same time, you adjust and you want to get into your own environment, your own world, and you know, he's really making good out of it, and. You know, he's, he's like I said, tremendous on the field, but also off the field. Uh, he's got he's got strong support, very, very strong support. And, you know, that not too many families get the support for certain athletes, but he's got a lot of strong support, a lot of strong family. And it pushes him to do what he got to do off that field in that classroom. And then on the field, he try to push it to another level, you know, and hopefully he'll get some looks some uh scholarship office and stuff like that and the biggest thing is he's got just got to continue to work you continue to work he's going to really get there 
you know, so he does he does some really good things, and you know, it, it'll be all good. Most definitely, most definitely. Um, I saw Trayshawn play, man, and I was very impressed with how he plays and how he attacks the ball, how he can break on the ball. So I'm looking for for good things out of Trayshawn Ware for his senior season. Let me get George Peppers back in here right quick. George Peppers, your thoughts about Brother Martin's cornerback, Trayshawn Ware? I think he's one of the top defensive players in the state. But, you know, it's, it sets up an interesting year this year, his senior year. But the argument, and look, we got to see another who I think is going to be a heavily recruited defensive player, a young man at St. Augustine, Jakeem Stewart, the defensive end. He's only a junior. Is you know the argument is who's the better player, defensive player in in the Catholic league? You can make a compelling argument for both these young men. They're dominant at their positions, and and that sets up a really good year in the Catholic league. Um, they just spit out guys left and right that can get it. And Trayshawn, you know, he's got a very much hidden confidence that, from what I could tell, in in talking to him tonight, it fe I feel like. He's got, and look, it's it's one thing to be confident, you know, and everything else, and that's a good thing. I need a defensive back. Oh, that's some craziness. Can y'all hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay, this thing just, my screen just went completely pale white. Um, anyway, I don't know why. I think this is acting a fool, but anyway, um, you know, you talk about Trayshawn Ware and his ability, and last year was a, was, was a, a breakout, you know, but I feel like he's got more to give. I feel like, I feel like now in his senior year, he's going to take a lot more accountability. And Brother Martin is going to benefit from that. The thing is that when you look at the Catholic League in it as a whole, um, it's a tough it's tough hurdles. I mean, John Curtis and Nakar, uh, of course, Rummel. Uh, they're not going to be banged up as they were last year. You would imagine if they can stay healthy, they're tough. Jesuit. A year older, they're going to be tough. Um, Holy Cross, it's Holy Cross. I mean, those guys surprised some people last year. Canatella does a good job there. Cole Canatella was a great quarterback for them last year. Um, they're going to replace some pieces, but still, though, overall, that that Catholic league, he's going to show out again this year. I'm curious to see who and what is is going to go after him because I feel like he's going to be recruited. Pretty hot and heavy, especially if the Crusaders are relevant early. I think he's going to get a major. <laughs> excuse me, guys. Uh, he's going to get a boost uh, from where that team is going to be. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing a play, and hopefully, maybe we could do a game. Uh, just throwing it out there. Hash out show game of the week. Just saying, they could be on that list, too. Well, hey, that's going to be. It's gonna be way too You're tough right. because of the fact that VSN. Uh, brother, no. no, not VSN. Brother Martin streams oh, their right. own games now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, VK talks about a surprise guest, and somebody's in the lobby, but I, mean, I don't see a picture. But we'll see what happens when we come back with this surprise guest right here on the Hash It Out Show. Let me say something. My name is Trayshawn Ware. I'm a DB for Brother Martin Crusaders, and you're watching the Hash It Out Show. <laughs> 